Hey guys, that's Brie Lowe back with part two of this real-time video. Um, I know the last one was really long, but I'm going to try and make them around an hour each. Um, this part should take quite a while, but it's adding the definition to the curls. So this is the part that really brings it to life. Um, so far, it looks really nice anyway. So now that I start adding the really black areas and define the curls, it's really going to make it look realistic. So hopefully you enjoyed the last video. And to the, I know the proper art lovers, the ones that have been asking me, can they see things in real time? I hope these videos um, just give you an idea of the process and basically how long it takes. It does take a long time, but if you actually follow the process all the way through, I believe that anyone can do this. Um, I, the thing with this, with, with making curly hair look realistic, because curly hair is so unruly, it does what it wants to do, and it's so hard to follow the pattern. I feel like if you just follow these techniques, it really does simplify it a lot. So, um, yeah, let's get started, guys. Now, you can see I really did um, rub this in. I did massage with the earbud. I did massage all of the pastel into the paper, so it's quite hard to erase, but... Um, as we sharpen up around it and lighten up these white areas, I can really go over the parts that need to be lightened. No problem. We'll worry about all that later anyway. Right, out of this line here, there goes the lighter one there. And then that kind of fades out to the side, but like I say, you can't see the detail. You will be able to later. There's one big white patch here. That goes into a line. I see. Let's see. some lighting parts up there I'll get to that after let me just move the image up because I'm kind of zoomed in um, the glasses kind of go to about here no the glasses go all the way across there oh that I've got them coming a bit far down it doesn't matter not a big deal um let's have a look. copying what I see right now. I have to concentrate.
Okay, you guys are gonna hear some noise in the background. That's just me watching The Walking Dead. So far, so good. It's looking all right. Um, I remember with Breaking Bad, <laughs> I remember the hype about it, and I, when I finally watched it, I thought it was wicked. So I'm gonna watch The Walking Dead now. Um, what I'm actually gonna do now, I've put, I've zoomed in slightly so that you can see a little bit closer. I want to draw the curls on the outside, but I'm gonna add some definition here first. Um, I really should probably draw the curls on the outside. I'm just trying to figure out. No, first I'm gonna do the definition just to make sure I've got all the curls in the right place. Then I'm gonna add the curls around the outside. So I'm just gonna get started from here. And I'm using the uh, Conte black pencils. Look at my black pencils video. It's another pastel pencils that I'm using. And I'm now adding definition to the curls. Now, where I've highlighted certain areas, they're not, they're, the whole area is not supposed to be light. So what I'm gonna do is just add all of the darkest areas around all of the curls. And then after that, I can add the definition to it. Actually, no, I can add some definition now. Just a little bit as I go. It will help me see whereabouts I am as well because I'll see the shape um, better. Because obviously with the eraser, I didn't make it very clean. You know, it was a bit rough um, the way that I did it. So let's get these curls showing. Most important part here is just to black out the areas that are actually really black because that way it's going to show that those are the, are the deepest areas and then the light areas are going to jump out even more. And also it's to get that definition. This is how we get realism, guys. I hope you enjoyed part one. I've been very uh, reluctant to put up a real speed video for a long time now because I just didn't think that anyone would have the patience to sit through it but I suppose if you're learning to draw curly hair and you find it difficult in the past and then you watch the video I suppose um, it's what I always wanted I always wanted someone to show something um, more slowed down rather than sped up but I don't know I don't know so I wonder sometimes if people have my patience <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how it goes I've just published it now and I'm getting started on this one this should be up tonight all going well I'm going to try and upload them in hour-long se um, sections, parts. I'm hoping that they do well. I'm just trying to find a way to give you more information. So as you can see, I'm using this pencil that I've sharpened with a pastel pencil sharpener. Let me show you. I have a Derwent pastel pencil sharpener. Uh, I bought that a long time ago and it sharpens these pencils really well. You can't sharpen them with a nor normal pe pencil sharpener as they break, so. Right, this one up here has a lot of darkness there. Then you can see where the curls come out. See, with the eraser, I really didn't do them exact, but it was all about just getting a guideline with the curls. There's another curl here that I outlined. I've done a pretty good job at knowing the sh uh, doing the shape, creating the shape of, with the eraser because I can actually tell which curls. I'm looking up at the reference picture and I can see which curls I'm going for. I did the right shapes and that's what's important. So when you're using the eraser, make sure that you sharpen the eraser and try to really literally copy every single curl that you see when you're um, erasing to get those curls out. Make sure you do every single curl that you see and do it in the shape that you see it so that when you're going over and doing this, you'll be able to look at the reference and know whereabouts you are. It's very important. And my aim with um, realism art, really, I've kind of spent years trying to simplify it because I think um, all the, like I said in the last video, all the times I, had, I was working myself into a migraine, that was more because I was quite new to what I was doing and I didn't know the some of the shortcuts that, cuts that I've developed over time. Um, and it's all about simplifying each piece, simplifying what you're doing so that it doesn't you know, jar your brain and um, frustrate you too much. You've just got to find shortcuts and ways to make things simpler. Because we all know with art, it can feel so complicated.
I did notice when I was editing my other video, or when I was watching it back, um, <laughs> I actually was confusing the word um, perspectives, and what I meant was proportions. But, um, I don't know, it's hard to multitask. I don't mind chatting while I draw, but I'm used to sitting quite quiet and usually watching something on my iPad or listening to some music, um, singing along while I'm drawing. So I'm not really used to talking while I draw. So if I do make certain mistakes, uh, one, it may be because my vocabulary is not amazing. <laughs> and two, it's most probably because I'm multitasking. So forgive me, guys. <laughs> Just keep that little part there. To think I used to get such a headache drawing these things, but I actually love drawing curly hair now. I'm, I feel like I want to make loads of drawing, uh, loads of curly hair videos, um, but I don't want to give you the same thing over and over. I was going to do curl patterns, um, but different curl patterns, but no, I don't know. I'm just going to do different lengths, different hairstyles. I definitely want to do a video of um, somebody's hair slicked back because I suppose we're, back in the day I always found it hard when I was a kid to draw feet facing forward. Um, we never figure out how to draw feet facing forward so I remember drawing when I was a kid and drawing the whole body and then when I get down to the feet they would be like sticking out sideways <laughs> because I just couldn't figure out how to draw them going forward. So um, I think with slicking hair back and having a photo from the front it's the same kind of thing. Sorry guys, there's some zombie killing in the background. <laughs> As I said, um, I'm watching The Walking Dead. If you've seen it before, uh, let me know. Did you like it? Or was the hype just hype? Um, I hear people are watching Game of Thrones. My friend, I saw on her Snapchat yesterday, she started watching it. Um, I watched about three minutes of the first episode and just turned it off, it just wasn't for me. But I might give it another go, but I'm definitely going to watch The Walking Dead first. I like nothing more than to watch a whole series of something while I'm drawing. It just means I haven't got to search for anything new to watch every time something finishes. Right. There's a little one. Oh, I've just found it. Never mind. The good thing when you're doing a curly hair video like this, uh, drawing like this, is if you make a slight mistake, when overall the picture's complete, you're really not going to be able to notice it. Not if it's anything um, small. Maybe like one lightened area, one little line, streak. No one would notice that. Here is the first bit of definition going into a curl.
Right, there's a lot of blackened areas up here, really, really dark. So that's where, at the front here, the curls are coming forward. At the back here, there's kind of gaps and a few curls coming up over the top. So it's very, very dark up here. But always remember to get those little lightened areas. Don't leave those out because if that whole area that ends up being black, it's not really going to go with the rest. Um, you need to be able to see the odd curl poking up. Remember guys, we're searching for that realism. And those little, little hairs poking out, that helps create that realism. Remember to draw exactly what you see. I know it seems um, harder than it sounds, but that's the aim, is to draw exactly what you see. We might miss the odd thing here or there, but my best portraits that I've done, my most favorite pieces, and to me, the most realistic ones, are the ones that I took extra, extra time on and tried not to miss a single, single thing. With this, this is a lot rougher. Obviously, because I'm doing this in real time, I wanna make them, the video is like watchable. I don't wanna make them like 12 hours long. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm rushing slightly. But um, still not missing out those little, little touches that create the realism. In the last video, I even called my cousin Nicola, Nicole. What? Never in my life have I called her Nicole. Imagine that. <laughs> Sorry, cuz. It's probably harder to um, draw and talk than I thought. But, um, it's not that bad, but I mean, I really didn't realize what I was, that I'd said Nicole. Just goes to show how much you concentrate when you're drawing. Let's take it over here. I don't know if you can see already, but this section now, compared to that section, has got more depth. So that realism is coming out now. Um, this part up here is a bit confusing because like you can see there, there, I've started to add some definition of the curls. That bit should be dark. Let me just do, I'll tidy it all up later, but I'm wondering now, should I add curls up here as I go? I think I should. I'm gonna go quiet now because it is a lot more complicated at the top here. There's quite a few dark and light parts. I'm just trying to keep an eye on where they are. Pay attention to them. Because it's fiddly to see. Every time I look back up, I lose where I am. I think that's because I'm trying to do the curls. I'll go back to that. I can add them later, but let me just add a little bit of guide. Right, I'm going to keep adding those darker areas. There's a very dark area there. And around here it's got streaks. 
Okay. Smudging already. is exactly the same kind of pencil I'm just using it because it's sharper than this one and it's annoying to keep stopping to sharpen so that's exactly the same pencil Yeah, come in.
Thank you.